You know, obviously, they're whatever now, 22 and 2 or whatever they are. So we ran into a really good basketball team, and they certainly were better than us tonight. Uh, and that's kind of it. You know, they passed the ball well. They rebounded well. The big kid played darn, a darn good game. And the other guys all handled the ball. They didn't turn the ball over at all. And uh, we just never got going to be able to play, you know, the game that we usually play. They took away our fast break to some extent. Uh, and it's just a tough game. When you fall behind like that, it's very tough playing catch-up. And I think that's what happened. It kind of slipped away from the Bob in the third quarter, it seemed. I don't know if you're... Anything yeah, it stood did. out to you. Yeah, it did. Yeah, we thought we had a shot with the score being what it was at halftime. And we had a hard time handling the big kid, you know, whatever. It was like six minutes to go in the third quarter till about four minutes. We really struggled playing him, so <coughs> that was tough for us. And then conversely, there were two, two times when he sat for pretty long stretches due to foul trouble, and you guys were unable to, to really yeah. cut into the lead both times. Yeah, we thought we'd be able to cut into it that time, but there were other kids that went in the game, just took up the slack for them. Uh, <coughs> where does Westford rank among the best shooting teams you guys have seen? Because it seemed like every time you guys tried to get something going, they would hit a shot at the other end. Uh, how do I want to answer that? Well, obviously Franklin could shoot the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, Fitchburg could shoot the ball. So there's some teams around, but obviously they shot it very well. I did notice that during Wobble. Almost every kid that took a shot was burying the shot, and they were swishing them. So, yeah, we figured they were. But we knew that going in. We thought our man-to-man -man would be able to get up on them enough to take that away, but they just seemed to. They ran off their screens pretty good, and that hurt us. Do you feel, I mean, kind of a tough question, do you feel like we kind of out-hustled <coughs> you on the glass, offensive glass, and some of those loose balls? Well, if you look... Uh, we struggled guarding the big guy, so I didn't play my big guy the last one-third of the game, and so that definitely hurt us. But being behind, I thought we had to get a little quicker, get a little better offensively, and hopefully get some fast-break hoops. So I had a smaller lineup in, but obviously that didn't work either. And, uh, both uh, Adam and, and Dave on seem to, well, they obviously appear to struggle offensively. I don't know if you can just speak to assume their defense had something to do with yeah, that. Yeah, I, I thought their defense was, was very, very good. I thought their big kid played very good defense, but all five of them played pretty good defense. Uh, we were hoping to penetrate, and we had trouble penetrating. Finally, in that second half, Devon got to, uh, not Devon, but uh, Stefan got to penetrate and get some hoops, but up to that point, we had a tough time, and we thought we could get Drew more shots, but the big kid kind of put a kibosh on that, and you know, we just didn't get him enough shots out there. In terms of your seniors, Drew and Devon won a lot of games in this building. How do you kind of sum up their careers and the experience you've had with them? Well, we just talked about it in and there and said, we are blessed. Uh, these kids have been in the district finals four years in a row, the seniors, won twice and lost twice. There aren't many kids that have a chance, and you're not just talking the finals, you get to play here in the semifinals, which has always been a great game for us. And so, yeah, for those kids there, it was a great four years, and now it's up to someone else to take up that slack. and lead us after this. You know, it was interesting going into the year that we lost our three, four, and five men from last year. Our three big, strong guys. And where were we going to go from there? And these kids here all stepped up. I mean, you look to this point, we did lose to Shrewsbury at the buzzer, but prior to that, our, our only two losses were Brockton and Durfee, two of the biggest schools in the state, down in their gym we lost. So, you know, just... I, I just think these kids, if you told me at the beginning of the year we would win 19 games, I'd be very happy with these kids. And obviously they've played very well to win that many.